Anything we thought was geeky growing up turns out to be the best thing we could have done. And I was like, these guys are such nerds. <laughs> <laughs> the skill that you have as a radio present is underrated because you have to bring to life for people that are only listening what you're seeing so that they also see it. Is there anything in particular, any skills or advice that you have for anybody when it comes to doing that? That's a good question. I think it comes down to having a good understanding of language so that you don't use the same words all the time and having that ability to flick through a dictionary in a way in your head and using those words and almost writing poetry when you're speaking. That comes with time you improve your di dialect and you've got a better lexicon to go to to paint that picture but it is it's like painting my numbers you start out using re really big blocks of color and trying to find out which colors work together and how to blend those and the more experience you get the more fine those little sections of color get and the more inherent it is that you just know how those colors work and it's a bit like that with presenting and radio, especially that you just understand it more and you're able to do it better. Was that something you were always like interested in was English? And did you grow up like reading a lot of books? Yeah, I was always reading or writing. I did English up to quite a high level and I loved debating. I don't know what it's like with you, but we don't have debate squads or teams in the UK. It's an underrated skill but I was lucky and I did English literature and we used to debate the books a lot. So I've never really thought about it, but obviously your past forms your future. And yeah, I, was, I just loved it. It's funny because when I was at school, we actually had debating as a, it was almost a, you had debating like within the school, like an actual. Uh, oh, I'm so like, envious. Yeah. But then you also had, you had, you had like inter-school debating. And, but you all, I was a sports guy and I was like, these guys are such nerds, <laughs> <laughs> but looking back now, I wish I was in the debating team and, and, and I, I really wish like everyone was actually taught how to debate because especially you see now in this day and age, well, people don't even know how to talk to each other. They don't listen to each other. They can't even hold their own side of a conversation. Yeah. I think it's such an amazing skill. And I think that we thought was geeky when we were growing up probably turns out to be the best thing we could have done, but we were having too much fun doing other things.